All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, True and Fun, and today's day is Sunday, December the 1st, meaning, for one, it's the first of the month. Okay, enough about that. Two, we are getting closer to Christmas as the holiday season is upon us, and there's none back it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Christmas decorations are already being put up, so... That's what's going on right now. And three, that means Christmas themes will be coming eventually in Pokemon Go. Now, that's the thing that we're going to talk about in today's video. So a lot of things are coming up. So again, the Team Go Rocket Special Research is back. And the main reward there would be Shadow Zapdos. So again, if you did not finish last month's Team Go Rocket Special Research, you can pick up where you left off for this month, but you will not get Shadow or the Kuno. Oh! You will instead get Shadow Zapdos. So I just want to, you know, point that out to you guys as well. And by the time this video drops, the Friend Fest event will be over, and we don't know what event is coming up next. Probably something having to do with Diglets, because the Pokemon Go official Twitter account been tweeting nothing about, but with the exception of Diglets over the last two days. So we'll see what's up with that. All right. So what this video is about is what, not could, but should be coming in Pokemon Go because I did a video last week asking for you guys to give me ideas that would improve the game. Because right now the game is at a really good spot right now. The Friend Fest, you know, not a lot of people was really going crazy over it, but it's a, you know, it was an event where you should just relax and play Pokemon Sword and Shield, which are over there. That's why I was looking that way, see if I could reach the cases without getting up, but whatever. So, you know, it was the type of event where you used to just relax, chill, hang with your family because it was doing Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday and Rivalry Week and college football and stuff like that. So, that's the type of event we got. So now, I'm assuming we're going to get back to the meat of things with an upcoming event, but what I want to talk about is ideas that could still improve the game from what it is right now. Again, the game is at a good spot right now, in my opinion, but still could be better. So, let me give you guys my 10 ideas that Niantic should use to fix the game. Now, before we go on this list, I did a video like this two years ago, and I gave you guys my five ideas that Niantic should use to fix the game. Three of those five ideas, by the way, are in the game as we speak. So I'm going to have a link to that video in the description box below to see what those three ideas are. But let's move on to number 10. All right, so number 10. Okay, here's the thing about number 10. And how I do this list is from less of a need rather to more of a need. That's how I do it from less of a need to more of a need. So number 10 is very interesting because remember what I said at the beginning of this video, we already got a new Team Go Rocket special research event or task going on or crest going on right now. So apparently that's going to be a monthly thing. You know what else should be a monthly thing? Team Go Rocket Day. So yeah, that's to be a monthly thing. So I believe it was last week Sunday where we had a Team Go Rocket Day that lasted for two hours, where basically every single Pokestop were affected by Team Go Rocket. That should be a thing. So, you know, we got Community Day, which is once a month. We got the Legendary Raid Hour, which is once a week. And we should have a Team Go Rocket Day, which I think should be once a month as well. So, yeah, you know, because to get a thousand, I know some people have done it already, but that's still a lot to take part and win. Team Go Rocket Battles, a thousand of them to get that goal yeah that's crazy so uh team go rocket day one per month will really help out number nine on the list is something that i said two years ago and i mostly stand by it to this day and that is this put filters on the nearby system so you know obviously on the bottom right you got the filters and things that they took that show you what Pokemon nearby. So if you look on my screen over there right now, here's what nearby. I see a Diglett, I see a Combi, and I see, you know, all this stuff right here. So basically all of this is crap to me. So what if there was a Dratini in the mix or a Snorlax in the mix? And I don't know about it because they're not showing it. So there should be a filter here that says, okay, get rid of the ground type, get rid of the electric type, you know, or, well, I mean, again, there's a lot of data, a lot of coding they got put in the game, and there's a lot of stuff in the game as is. So to make things easier on yourself, just put it by types. Like, get rid of the ground types, get rid of the flying types, get rid of the normal types, and let it look for a certain type of Pokemon. And it's not that big of a need because there's the likes of Discord, where you can, and other, you know, third-party things they can use that are not app, considered app, they can use to look for specific Pokemon. So not a lot of people really complain about this one. But 
It would still be dope if we had a filter system with that nearby system. Number eight is something that has been died, has been cry as of late, but I'm about to bring that noise back. And that is this, raise the level cap. So right now the highest level you, you can reach is 40. So my thing is, raise it to possibly 45 to 50. Now I know there's a bunch of people who are like level 40 times three, level 40 times four, for example, me, you know, something along those lines. So it would be fit. And I, I, I only suggest this just to see how they would do it. Because again, it's based on the number of XP you have. So, I mean, how would they raise it? How far up would they raise it to? So that would be a pretty interesting thing from level 40 to what 200 <laughs> level 200 you know something along those lines so that would be pretty interesting i don't think a lot of people are asking for it now because there's a lot of questions in terms of how niantic would do it. that's the only reason why it's on the list on the list i want to see if niantic does indeed plan on doing this how would they do this knowing that you got people like brandon todd who's at level 40 times whatever and you know it'll be interesting to see how they do that number seven this one has been Asked for, but nobody really gave a definitive ray of how to ask or how this should be done. And what I'm talking about is this: better, be, be, whoa, what did I just say? Better in-game shop bundle. So you know you got this great box and the ultra box and master box, whatever it is. But the majority of the items in these boxes, they don't add up, they don't mess well, and they, frankly, are garbage. So basically, how they should do it is by theme because there's certain aspects of the game. So like, if you're a raider, if you're a hatcher, you know, you know hatch your eggs. If you're a PVP battler, if you like to just catch a Pokemon. So there should be boxes that are tailored for you. So for example, if you are a raider, what's the one thing you need? Uh, berries, revives, uh, what is it, stardust, lucky eggs. So make a bundle out of that. So if you like to hatch eggs, what do you like to do? What do you, oh, and raid passes, duh. So take out either berries or revives, take one of those out. So something along those lines. So if you like to have edge, what do you need? Uh, incubators? More, like more so super than, re well, okay, regular. If you don't want to race a super incubator on a 2K egg, understandable. So maybe both of those. Starters, obviously, and Lucky Egg. Okay, if you like to take part in PvP, what do you need? Starters, Lucky Egg, because you got to train up these Pokemon. We're well, not Lucky Egg, but Starters most definitely. A lot of Pokeball, you know, you get the point. So certain items that are tailored towards certain aspects of the game. Again, PvP, raiding, uh, battling, and things of that nature. So make a bundle or something that involves all three. So like for example, you want if you do all three like me, then you may want starters, lucky egg, raid passes, incubators. That would be perfect. And that could be the most expensive thing in the game, and people will buy them. More than likely, people will buy them. Especially they are an all-around player like me. Number six is something that I've been asking for for a long time. And we must have a better way to collect these coins. Because the way you do it now, it takes out the competitiveness out of the game. So, now obviously you got PvP, so the competitiveness is in there. But in terms of Instinct, Valor, and Mystic... There's no competitiveness involving these teams. So what's the point? Now, yeah, we like to brag about it within the Pokemon Go community. I like to give people a hard time. We like to roll with Mystic and Instinct, especially Mystic. But outside of that, in terms of competitiveness in the game involving those three teams, there's no competition there because we have to rely on the other two teams to collect the coins, which is stupid. So how do I suggest? Well, one way we could do this is this. Basically, you should be able to reclaim your Pokemon that been in the gym for over eight hours to get your 50 coins daily, on a daily. So something along those lines. And then probably say, oh, you can't put another Pokemon in that gym for 24 hours, something along those lines. Something like that. But there should be an easier, not easier way, a better way for us to claim these coins on a daily basis as opposed to, oh man, I need Instinct or Mystic to knock my Pokemon out of a gym. <laughs> like. Really, like, I remember back in the day, it was a competition to hold down these gems. Now that's not the case no more. I want that back. Because that was, at one point in time, that was really fun. I want that back. So that's why we need to get, that's really the main reason why we need a better way to collect these coins. Not just so we can have coins on a daily, but so that competitiveness with the gems can be there. All right, let's move on. Number five is something that trainer tips 
has been bugging Niantic about for that. Well, I don't know if he bugged them about it directly, but he did mention this in videos once in a row. And that is this. Bro, we gotta you gotta come up with a better way for these TMs. So, like, with especially with the charge TM, if there's like if one Pokemon can learn four charge moves, and you're not trying to get that even if, if you do get the second charge move, you gotta waste TM at the TM at the TM at the TM to get the one that you want. And you can go through your charge TM very quickly, more so than your fast TMs, where there's like two fast type moves for them to look used. So it's like, okay, that's no big deal. But the charge TM, I mean you gotta use, come on man. Like, y'all gotta do a better job with that. It's like, use a charge TM and say, okay, which move do you want? That, that, or that? And I'll be like, give me that. I mean, cause we, a lot of people going through them fast TMs, not fast TMs, charge TMs, like crazy because of this, how it is right now. So, the TM system needs to be changed. Number four is something that even I suggested two years ago, and that is this. Give us the ability to either sell or trade items. And in fact, in my video this year, I think it was around it was around GoFest and June's Community Day where Working with Wembley was in here. He actually said this as well, like give us the ability to trade items. I, I agree with that as well. So if you were to look over here, let's take a look at my items real quick. I got 136 max potions, which I need, so I ain't gonna get rid of those. 180 max revives, which I need, so I'm not gonna get rid of those. But look at all these TMs I have. 178 fast TMs. I can trade those or sell those. 177 charge TMs. Well, unless they change the TM system, I'm gonna need those. And then we're gonna keep going down. Look at this, 507 great balls, 319 pineapple berries. And the thing about those two is this. Like, I do be using them, but I be getting them back. So it's like, we should be able to trade these items or sell these items. Instead of just trashing them or letting them sit there, because that's a race. So yeah, give us the ability to sell these items or trade these items to other players. Number three, number three, we, we gotta go back to the game for this one. And I know a number of you guys, you know, made suggestions to this one, like for example, Brandy Worth, where she said, you know, she basically uh, echoed my sentiments on this one in one of my videos last week. And I know you guys made suggestions for other ideas which we'll get to later, like Luckfire, and um, there was another guy, I forgot his name. So I apologize for you for that in advance. But look at the shop. What's missing? What is missing? There is one important item missing here. Now, I'm gonna give you a hint. If I were to go into one of these boxes, let's check this one. There it is. Star pieces. So the only way to get a star piece is through the box. So you get one out of here. Ultra box, you get three out of here. Adventure box, you get three out of here. Really? Star piece is the most important item in the game right now. In my opinion, you could say raid passes, you could say super incubators, or you could even say the rocket radar since it's back in here. But star pieces are the most important item in the game because stardust is the number one item, number one thing that everybody wants. Stardust. So why is this? Why this item is not in the shop by itself is beyond me. That needs to be in the shop by itself, because people will buy it. Or there needs to be a better deal involving star pieces. Because three? No. In these adventure box and ultra box? No. And even one in the special box? No, 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 one no. Deal. No, 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 yeah. no. That's not going to cut it. We need more star pieces to get more starters. And if you put them up for sale, people will buy them. Let's move on. Number two, number two, a lot of people have been asking for this one, and I echo those sentiments as well. So, oh look, there's a raid. I'm about to jump in it by myself since I only need one Pokemon to beat this raid. I picked the Pokemon that I want. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, there's a timer. I gotta wait on the timer to hit zero before I can start this raid. But I got stuff to do. I got places to be. I don't want to sit here for two minutes waiting for a raid to start. We need that ready button. The fact that the ready button is in Harry Potter's Wizard United, a game that came out two years? I could be wrong with that. Two years after Pokemon Go, yet they have it? But yet Pokemon Go to have it? Bruh, it's time for that ready button to be put in Pokemon Go. We need that ready button for these raids. Because they should not, like, it, 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 like, even if there's like a big squad of 20 accounts, and we all jump in right there, we should not have to wait an extra 150 seconds, whatever the case may be. For the raid to start, that's stupid. Like, it should be starting right now, especially since, you know, there are issues where people are getting kicked out of these raids. As soon as the raid starts, probably because of 
connection issue that just happens right there, or whatever the case may be. We need that ready button and we need it now. Number one on the list, and again, Luckfire mentioned this, and I forgot who the other person is that mentioned this, so I apologize for forgetting your name. He mentioned this in my last video, and a number of people mentioned this as well. That friendship slash gift system needs to change. So, because this is how it is right now. If you look at my friends, which is 200, you get to see, I, I can set it up on gifts. So here's everybody that sent me a gift, which is cool, but how about people that need a gift from me? How about people who are online and want to set up a PvP battle? So I don't need to like guess and see, oh, is this person online? Is this person not online? Or whatever the case may be. No, like we need a better friendship slash gift system to make things more easier. And then here's the thing. You know, when you click on a name, and then you have to wait for all this to load up to see if they open my gift or not. And there should be an indicator that says, yo, well, obviously there is an indicator that says, yo, this person opened your gift. But there should be an indicator that says, yo, this person did not open your gift yet. Or an indicator that says, yo, you have not sent this person a gift. So there should be indicators to make the gifting system, the friendship system, much easier in the game. And that's really the number one thing a lot of people have been asking for. So yeah, those are my top 10 ideas that I think Niantic should use to improve the game. And I said this before, and it's been around since I said it, but I'm going to say it again. Niantic do be watching my videos. Because again, if you watched that video two years ago that I released November the 6th, 2017, three of those five ideas I gave are now in the game. If you don't believe me, watch the video. Link is in the description box below. And boom. Oh, those three ideas try to guess those three ideas look look guess those three ideas from watching that video and leave them in this comment section of this video so yeah i'm about to call it a wrap so with all that said hold up hold up shiny check shiny check female need a man not shiny all right so with that said y'all know who this is this is break new jack ashley aka new Stephen A. smith saying peace out y'all and i'll see y'all next time yeah daughters no 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 <laughs> Thanks, man. Do it. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint. With my tongue, I done things that people said I can't. Yeah, they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes. Show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm gonna hit and move away.